What's coming next? Uber Eats for kids? In the UK, a new survey, albeit a small one, had highlighted a significant problem that no doubt we could or are experiencing right here. The Royal Society for Public Health and the Youth Health Movement and Slimming World surveyed more than 570 teenagers on the childhood obesity epidemic. The survey found almost one in four 13 to 18 year olds had ordered, get this, fast food takeout and had it delivered to their school. Commenting on the report, Professor Nina Modi, president of the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health, said it is now well recognized and extremely worrying that UK children leave school more overweight than when they started. So if the rise in child obesity prevalence in the UK is to be reversed and sustained, schools must be part of the solution. The survey was published just ahead of the British government's childhood obesity strategy, which is expected shortly. RSPH Chief Executive Shirley Kramer said, while we welcome the government's introduction of a sugar levy on soft drinks, it is absolutely critical that the forthcoming childhood obesity strategy builds on this positive step with a basket of hard-hitting measures, from greater controls on advertising and marketing of junk food to food reformulation. In the survey, these teens were asked about their own habits as well as potential solutions to the problem. Half said that fast food firms should be banned from delivering to schools, after 25% said they had done just that in the past. Almost four in five believe supermarkets should offer free fruit and vegetables to children to snack on while their parents are shopping. The majority believe that soft drink content should display the equivalent number of teaspoons of sugar on the package. 82% think food manufacturers are misleading people when they provide fat, salt, and sugar for single servings rather than for the entire product. And one-third of the group thought it would be a good idea to give food that's high in fat, salt, or sugar film-style classifications, such as G, PG, PG-12. I would love to see just which food got that R rating.